On the left side of the PCB we have two relays. There are relays that are connected to both channels of the of the device, both channels of the detector. Next to it we have a power supply unit. This is a step down converter. And next to it we have a 5 volts linear regulator. Next to these we have uh, two transformers, isolation transformers for the, for the loops that are connected. Uh, then we have a multiplexing uh, circuit here, 8 transistors, PNP. And this little transistor here is uh, forming an oscillator with these two capacitors and uh, these two uh, inductors, uh, transformers, sorry. Uh, under, under the multiplexer we have uh, four diode arrays. These are actually 16 diodes inside. We have uh, two dip switches for selecting mode of operation and other options. Then there is a microchip PIC microprocessor. The crystal is uh, 8 MHz, but uh, PLL is enabled in, in the chip, so actually it really runs the code on 8 MHz. 8 times 4, 32 MHz, divided by 4 internally by the micro microchip, micro uh, controller, and we end up having a code that runs on 8 MHz. Under, under the microcontroller there is a reset button, then left to it we have a PC connection port for configuration of the device. Left to these, to the connector, there are two bar graphs with uh, 8 plus 2 LEDs for, for, each, for each channel. And uh, finally we have uh, two buttons for sensitivity selection and restarting device, resetting device in the factory to factory defaults. That's basically uh, what this device has on board. After connecting the device to, to two loops, and the power supply. Let's power it up. Okay, the device starts. It tunes both both loops. Okay, the setting on the di on the red dip switch sets the mode to two loops uh, independent configuration. So they're both working independently, even though they're they're very close together. There is no interference because these are multiplexed. Only one is working or active in in, in one at a time. So let's try if we can uh, detect a phone. Okay, loop A is working, a loop B also.
straighten them up a little bit. 